wanted to take a moment to talk to you about one of my books. Um, it is actually currently um, right on the border of becoming a Amazon bestseller, and I'm so excited. Um, uh, I haven't been in the running before, so I'm really excited. So to uh, just to celebrate, I thought I'm going to make a few short videos about some of the things that are in this book. Um, now, the book I'm talking about is Snatch. Um, it is it was my first case files book. Um, for those of you that don't know, I run a cold case blog, um, sonobainc.com, and it uh, goes out to a potential of half a million each week. Well. I decided to start taking the biggest cases uh, from the previous year and combining it and making a book out of it. And that's my case files book. Well, in 2017, I was writing about the FBI's top 10 art crimes. And so I was writing about museum heists and stolen Van Goghs and, and all that kind of thing. So I was uh, writing about the art crime team and, and all kinds of stuff. And of course, you guys have all probably heard of uh, the Boston, uh, the, um, the Boston Museum Art Heist, and, and that one's pretty famous, but there's a lot of these in here that um, I hadn't heard of before, and so I wanted to share one with you that has actually been in the news recently, um, and I titled it For Your Eyes Only. The reason being is um, it was so incredible. This painting, um, it was called Lady Ochre, Okay, and it was actually stolen back on Black Friday of 1985. It was stolen from the museum at the University of Arizona. And um, so there was a man and a woman come in and it was right before time to open. So they ended up opening early, letting the, the two in while the woman talked to the, uh, the person. Um, the man snuck upstairs and stole the painting, and they were seen from again. Now, um, I'll show you a little sketch. Can you see the sketch? My lighting's a little bit odd. So that was the sketch. Um, come to find out what was very strange is um, no one ever heard of the, uh, no one had ever seen this painting again. Um, it was, it was just gone. It just seemed like it vanished into thin air and it was a very expensive de Kooning painting. Come to find out this painting was worth $160 million. Now I will try to post a link to the actual picture of the painting if I can find one. But uh, here's, here's what was so interesting. The, this was actually stolen and they found who did it. I'm flipping through the pages. Okay. They found out, they found this couple, but it was after they were long gone. Okay. And this was Jerry and Rita Alter. Okay. Now Jerry and Rita, they were just quiet little people that, that never seemed to be overly, um, uh, they never seemed to really stand out in any way. They uh, were a couple of teachers and they, they were just really quiet uh, to themselves. But people, you know, they did have one passion in life, it seemed, and they loved to travel the world. Now, they had a really nice house out, um, uh, just out, you know, in the edge of the desert. And it was, it was a beautiful place, but it was just you know, nothing peculiar about these people. Now, thinking back, people wonder how in the world did they afford to travel the world so much? But, you know, at the time, no one thought anything about it, and they went on. Well, here's what happened. Uh, after they passed, their, I believe it was their nephew, um, went and started putting their belongings in a, um, in an estate sale, you know, and so they basically was just selling all the furniture and things like that. And um, this, this, uh, um, this, I don't know, this flea market dealer, basically, um, he came in to buy what was left of the furniture. So the house had already been going through, and he he bought a few pieces, you know, for a little bit of nothing. And then behind the be the main master bedroom door was this unusual painting. And so he bought it too, nothing, no big deal. Well, um, he had it in his little antique store, you know, um, and in comes a, a gentleman that knows his art. And he looks at it and he about ha he about has a fit and he really surveys it close and and come to find out um, 
he he talks to the owner and he says do you know what you have here and of course the the pawn shop owner didn't know he didn't know nothing about it um it was just a bunch of junk from an estate sale and he told him he said listen you need to get online research stolen de kooning paintings and so this little pawn shop owner he he looks it up and it looks almost identical to him and his untrained eye it looked identical to the stolen painting um, that was stolen back in 1985 um, from the university of arizona and so he calls the fbi and um he's like listen you know he reaches out to the university and fbi gets involved and everything and then all of a sudden mr and mrs alter's nephew gets a call and um come to find out that his quiet little peaceful um aunt and uncle unassuming little couple had stolen a 160 million dollar painting from the museum had left no traces and had gotten away with it for 35 years and that 160 million dollar painting they had placed strategically in behind their bedroom door. So when you open their bedroom door to enter, you would have to close the door to see it. Um, and it was placed in such a way to where the light wouldn't hit it, the sunlight wouldn't hit it and fade it in. And uh, it was placed very well. And uh, so that is just one story. Um, now, of course, you wonder, you know, your mind starts to wonder, oh my gosh, how did they afford on teacher's salary? How did they afford to travel the world? And so people automatically start thinking, hmm, I wonder if they have stolen other artworks and maybe that's how they finance their travels, you know, we don't know. But the thing is, is what's so interesting, um, I suggest you keep an eye on the news because I have a feeling we're going to hear more of this story because um she kept a journal and it seems like every time that they were away that um things may have come up missing could it be a coincidence could it be um you know uh, just uh, something more we don't know so but that is one of the stories in this book snatched and um i will post the link with this video so you can get your own copy of snatched it's called the Snatched FBI's Top 10 Art Crimes and More. There are actually, um, there are actually, doo -doo -doo -doo, I think 20, 30. There are, no, 29 chapters uh, for art crimes. And then 30 is about the Art Lost Register. It's the database that keeps all the information on stolen art worldwide. So check this out. Um, on Amazon. I'll put a link and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.